I've had a few people ask me to do a walk around video of my EF hatch. And uh, so this is my 91 Civic hatch. A lot of people call it EF. I mean, it's the ED6 in the US, but uh, you know, the only JDM thing about it is a D15B motor it's got in it. So first off, I bought this car. I picked it up for $400 off of this chick and it had a JDM D15B motor in it, but it was uh, still the dual point injection. The hood on it was a sedan hood. The back two tail lights were busted out, but it did crank up and run, but it needed a lot of work. It had a set of steelies on it when I got it. It was lowered by cut springs. Um, it had a Flowmaster exhaust and it was pieced together by like eight different pieces of exhaust manifolds. So it was hilarious. So since I've had the car, I have rebuilt the motor. I've done a VTEC head swap. I've gone from OBD0 to OBD1, um, from dual point to multi-point. I've swapped the suspension over to True Hearts instead of the stock suspension they had on it. It's got the True Heart struts, got True Heart lowering springs, True Heart lower control arms, and for right now, that's what it's got. It's got a moderate drop, probably about two and a half inch drop all the way around. As of right now, it's got the HX wheels on it um, that are painted red and some cheaper tires, but I am going to be changing that out here soon to probably some LS meshies with some Toyo proxies. So I've got those at the house. Needs a paint job, so I'm gonna definitely get it painted here soon. I'm gonna do some body work on it. I'm gonna actually attempt to paint it myself. So we'll see how that turns out. The side skirts you see on this car, I came off of a EG95 a Civic sedan. And what I actually did is I just self tap screwed these on here and um, and just kind of flared them out a little bit. Uh, the mud flaps, the front two mud flaps are factory Honda mud flaps that I painted red. Rear mud flaps are rally armor that I got off of eBay. JDM visor, um, well sun visors on both of the mirrors. I actually have a GoPro 3D printed um, antenna mount that I got online. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in that. Up here on the front, I have LED turn signals, bulbs. I've got a MK2 Jetta front lip that I got on eBay. It's got the uh, black housing with the projector um, and the halo headlights in it. So it's got Tecate on the front, so that's like my beer of choice. You know, I, uh, I really do enjoy a nice cold one every now and then. The, uh, but the, the theme right now is black, red, and silver for right now. So this is my little Tecate car. Drilled and slotted rotors up front. And I think these are Stop Tech um, from Rock Auto powder coated red calipers. I know they kind of look a little goofy, but I do have tire pressure monitors and I'll show you that inside when we go inside. And then I have the, the tuner lug nuts. So these wheels, you can probably see a video that I have of me taking off the plastic dip off of these wheels. They were white. On the back of it, I've got it carbon fiber wrapped across the Civic panel. I did the doors the same way. This is an old school Honda. 91 Civic rocking a D series only right now. 311 that is my favorite band. They are awesome. I'm actually going to go see them in Vegas here soon. So uh, I'm real excited about that. They've been around for 30 years. If you ain't never met Bofa, how about Bofa D's nuts? Ah. The uh, so the exhaust that we have on this thing is a Yonaka full exhaust it's gonna be kind of hard to get up under here but I actually have a full Yonaka exhaust with a test pipe as of right now I have an eBay header on this thing but I just picked up a Chikara by Headman header for 20 bucks over the weekend 
that I just painted yesterday. So it'll be getting be put on real soon. So let's go inside. So I actually have EK 96 to 98 seats in here with some gray Integra headrest. And it was actually a straight bolt in. Um, the only thing is I had to put a spacer, like a big nut up here at the front just to space it out where yeah, I could finish bolting it in. And I uh, just got some cheap um, black and gray seat covers in it. Got the Integra center console in here. It, uh, a lot of people, they love this, this center console setup. So it was, it was actually a pretty easy fitment. I actually need to do a little bit of trimming, but I can actually get this to butt up a little bit better if I want to. But just for right now, it's got a little bit of a gap, but it fits very nicely in here. I found this uh, e-brake carbon fiber um, e-brake handle in the junkyard. They gave it to me for free. Found a GSR knob in the, in the junkyard, and I got a password JDM shift boot out of the junkyard as well. Found that in Integra. I have a phone charger that stays powered on even with the car turned off. I have it wired into the fuse box. And my cable over here off to the side, wrapped up. These cars do not come with cup holders, so the Integras, they had the cup holders, and they work okay for like a soda, but that's about all they really work for, or just a small water bottle. So I installed a cup holder onto the side of this that actually flips down and is fully adjustable. Pick this up on eBay. So what you hear beeping right now, that's my tire pressure monitor system. I uh, looks like I need to adjust. It looks like I have two of my tires are a little bit over pressure. So this is in bar. So right now these are at different pressure readings. I'm gonna actually have to fix that. I've got a Kenwood radio. I've got the auto meter boost gauge, the AEM air fuel and auto gauge just for my voltage. I have an install video on how to do the Type R uh, cluster overlay, so definitely check that video out. Um, I actually got this cluster given to me by a guy at work. Uh, thank you, John, for hooking me up. It's got 62,000 miles on this thing, and so I actually had to depin and repin it to make it work on this because it was out of a different year model, but I figured it all out and got it all to work. I actually have all the glow shift gauges. That I picked up off of eBay. It's got a tack, oil pressure, water temp, but I do have a factory clock that still works. I have CRX door panels that I swapped out in here because the door panels swap out directly as long as you have an 88, 89, or 9091. These are SI. They actually have the CRX in them. These swap directly over because um, this is a 91. It came out of a 91 CRX. I actually have the full CRX dash swap that goes along with this, so stay tuned for that. I do have a wink mirror in the car. I have LED lights for this is when you open your door here and in the trunk. All right, so I do have the, the factory cargo cover I had to find one and I got the gray leather seats in the rear for right now but I actually also have a black and red set of SI seats that I could swap in here I'm gonna I'm actually gonna flush mount these soon but I just have a set of kickers hooked up in the rear right now we have a rear strut bar a full-size spare got all my detailing and I actually moved my battery, relocated it to the rear. And it's, um, I moved like a battery box, like from a Civic. And I actually shortened it down 
and drilled some holes and actually bolted this down in there and then I was able to ratchet strap this onto here but I have battery hold down that I'm going to put on this very soon as well and get rid of that ugly ratchet strap but it gets the job done for right now I keep all of my uh, my jumper cables in a in a bag so I got my jumper cables and I think I have a uh, couple ratchets in here and like a bungee strap just in case you need like a backup but this is a good little backup bag to keep in the car luckily this thing was already installed somebody installed a rear light back here with an LED light so it's it's really nice when you come out to the back of your car at night and you're able to turn this on and it just brightens up this entire area back here so that's it's pretty awesome I actually do have a flashing third brake light um, that I installed and I put a few washers on here so instead of this thing facing just straight back I actually got this thing tilted up I think I put like four or five washers on each side just to give it the little angle um, since I haven't been able to buy a J, Jay's Racing um, spoiler yet but that is going to be next on the list before paint right, now let's go up under the hood so up under the hood I actually have a mini me swap that I built check out my other video on me actually putting this together so this um, this is actually a D15 I have a D15B block I have a Z6 head on here that's been redone have the spike cam bolt a Y8 cam gear a, a, uh, a Gates racing timing belt I have an AEM fuel rail I've actually had this was originally a dual point setup and now I've changed it over to multi-point so I actually had to go from OBD0 to OBD1 had to wire in a four wire O2 sensor instead of a one wire had to wire in the other two injectors had to wire in VTEC add W1 fuel gauge and I did a fuel line tuck underneath my intake I actually have a K tuned I got a CRX front sway bar that actually goes across near the rear I kind of like that setup um, it's got a competition clutch flywheel it's got a Exeti clutch um, it's got the SI CRX trans got the 10.2 millimeter VMS racing wires the J2 dress up bolts I also have some VMS dress up bolts got the LED headlights um, kind of some tubing that I had laying around and a Harley Davidson spiked air filter so this thing has a Z6 intake manifold. I bypassed the um, fast idle thermal valve by making a block off plate and then just bypass ran the, uh, the, the bypass hose. So right now this thing has an eBay um, header on it, but I actually have a Chikara header at the house I'm gonna swap in. And this has the added uh, water temp sensor I actually have it added underneath right here at the at the upper coolant pipe I have a couple silicone hoses obviously you can tell the battery has been relocated that so I actually do have a type type R oil cap so far I've probably put about 3,000 miles on this rebuild with no issues whatsoever. Uh, let's crank this thing up. Mm-hmm. 
right, so some of the future plans that I'm planning on doing to this 91 hatch is I got a Chikara Headman header that I picked up for 20 bucks. I, uh, I'm gonna install that. I have a hood bra to put on the front. I got some Ebok ground control coilovers on some KYB struts that are adjustable dampening. I have a brand new gas tank with a Kimso 340 liters per hour um, fuel pump already in it. Rear disc brake conversion off of a CRX SI, a CRX dash swap um, with the center console and the armrest. And I have everything to do a B-series swap on this thing from the axles, has port mounts, shift linkage, a transmission, um, I've got a flywheel, clutch, throwout bearing, new shifter cable, the rear T-bracket, the post mount. I've got, um, in the CRV, we have a B20. So I'm planning on pulling that one out, doing a rebuild on it, or at least rebuilding the bottom end. Possibly just putting a regular B20 in, or I might go B20 VTEC. So I have a lot of stuff to start doing the B20 VTEC conversion if I can get ahead. So more than likely, I'm probably going to try to go B series um, with a VTEC and with the GSR Trans, um, and then do a painted bay and do an exterior paint job on this. Probably keep it red, just do the whole car red with the black trim, and uh, put a nicer set of wheels on it and uh, lower this thing down and just have it as a nice, reliable daily. I also have some window tint. I've never window tinted anything, but I have some pre-cut window tint and uh, a heat gun. So I'm going to attempt to um, tint these windows. I'm gonna attempt to paint it myself. Um, the B-Series swap shouldn't be no problem. And um, yeah, man, so we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can get everything worked out. This should be a fun, fun project. So definitely stay tuned and let me know what you think about the car and what you like and definitely check out in the uh description all of my extras that i've picked up for the car i've got a lot of extras um, that i picked up off of ebay um and i'll try to put them mainly all the links that i can possibly think of for this car if i can find them i'll put them in the description but definitely comment what you like what you think about the car um, what you think I should do next um, other than the stuff that I've already mentioned I'm planning on doing and uh, Thanks for checking it out like subscribe and comment guys till next time. Peace